Some of the most common symptoms of DHA deficiency include poor memory, as well as dry, aging skin, and pigmentation in the skin is also affected by a DHA deficiency. So in this study, we can see that that fish oil supplementation helped to ameliorate the severity of some skin disorders such as photoaging, skin cancer, allergy, dermatitis, cutaneous wounds, and the melanogenesis, which is that dark pigmentation of the skin. We also know that DHA deficiency can be related to chronic issues like eczema and psoriasis, that itchy, irritated, and inflamed skin. So making sure you're getting enough DHA can be really helpful for these skin conditions. As well as loss of hair can be related to a DHA deficiency. Mood changes, depression as well, weight gain even. We know that DHA helps to increase our brown fat accumulation, so that income combination with some cold exposure is a great way to increase our brown fat and that thermogenesis, so our body's ability to actually make more body heat. Poor nerve conduction as well. We know that we need to have enough DHA on the outs outer coating of our nerves, the myelin sheath, also reliant on vitamin B12, which I talk about in other videos. So if you want to learn more about B12 deficiency, please check out my videos here on YouTube. As well as poor vision, we know that the highest concentration of DHA in the body is actually at the back of the eye. Macular degeneration is also linked to a DHA deficiency. As well as attention deficit and hyperactivity disorders are really helped with supplementing with extra DHA. Sleep disturbances and insomnia are also related, as well as allergies, sore joints and joint pain, chronic inflammation. You can really improve this with making sure you're getting enough DHA in the diet and cardiovascular disease, high blood pressure, as it's related to the health of the arteries as well. Diabetes, so we know that DHA does help with balancing that insulin sensitivity, which is really important for managing our blood glucose levels, as well as low vitamin D3. So today I talked all about the symptoms of a DHA deficiency. If you've got some of these symptoms and maybe never correlated them to having a low DHA, which of course is that important omega-3 fatty acid, make sure you check out my other videos on how you can really increase your DHA status. If you do have questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you. Please drop it in the comment section below. Be sure to share this video as well and give me a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and turn on those post notifications by clicking that bell. Everyone has a calling in life and mine is to empower you to live a healthy lifestyle and of course to do it naturally. Thanks for watching.